For 17 months, Ethiopian and Eritrean forces burned food crops, slaughtered livestock, and destroyed agricultural equipments, leading to a catastrophic humanitarian situation that has left more than 90% of the population in Tigray dependent on aid. But Professor Matuko Haile, a professor of environmental studies, says the siege on Tigray is not only devastating because it's blocking the delivery of aid, but also because essential agricultural inputs such as fertilizer and chemical pesticides are not being delivered into Tigray, putting into question future harvest. We are requesting the international community to sit with that, with all what the farmers are doing, in having, you know, crop productivity enhancement activities, we are demanding that along the humanitarian aid, the international community has to say yes, farmers of Tigray need inorganic fertilizer and chemicals to you know, increase their productivity and come out of you know, the syndrome of humanitarian aid. The humanitarian aid can be in place, but if we cannot sustain the next crop production to a higher level, then there would be a perpetual hunger, perpetual starvation, and death of people and children, particularly of malnutrition. Professor said that failure to gain access to much-needed agricultural inputs has forced farmers in Tigray to attempt to prepare composts in their own backyards. By their own initiative, we are assuming, and our farmers are doing it, that they have started preparing compost because they know that they couldn't get the, uh, the fertilizer they need in good time. So they are starting you know, to make compost, to make every organic material available back to their land, to their soils, so that with the first rains coming in, they can, they ha so some have started plowing, some, ha some would be starting very soon plowing, and then, of course, they will start also planting their crops. Tigray's agricultural sector has shown an astronomical increase in production over the past 30 years as Ethiopian government's policy had primarily focused on developing the agricultural sector and improving the living standards of rural communities. I would like to reiterate a bit about the agriculture of Tigray, uh, particularly for the last 25, 26 years. The first four years had been, you know, more of understanding the whole resources, the system and whatnot. But later on, later on when we started, you know, to intensify agriculture, inputs, particularly in terms of uh, outputs, in terms of crop production and crop productivity was almost four quintals per hectare, which was very low. And when I compare it later on now in 2019, the studies that we made in 1919, the productivity per hectare of cereals, crops, reached 1.9 metric ton, which is about 19 quintals per hectare. And the productivity also increased from almost 400,000 metric ton, which is 4 million quintals, to about you know, 19 quintals, 19 million quintals in 2019. The same thing with fertilizers. Fertilizer was about you know, 40,000 quintals in the early 80s, mid 80s, early, uh, early 90s. And then now in 2019, it reached about 600,000 quintals of fertilizer. And this is measurable. This has been also, you know, uh, reported and verified also. So you can see there was incremental progress in terms of agricultural productivity and production. The deliberate and systematic destruction of Tigray's agricultural sector has caused a humanitarian catastrophe of magnificent proportions, leaving over 6.5 million people in dire need of humanitarian assistance.